guys welcome back to my channel please ignore how awful I look I'm all hot and sweaty and horrible it's really really hot here in the UK at the moment uh, so this is a quick video I've been tagged by um, bluegrass in um, and I've been tagged for the exotic pet challenge and so it's basically a couple of questions maybe show you some stuff and I have been challenged on my snakes so the first question is what is my favorite thing about X X being snakes. So what is my favourite thing about snakes? Um, that's a hard question to answer. I like an awful lot of things about snakes. I like the colour variety is, is pretty huge. They also have um, sort of personalities. I know that some people may not agree with that, but they really do. You can get some that are incredibly docile. You can be touching its, um, its head and it will be kind of leaning in towards you. And then you can get some that I just mean, I just mean, mean, mean. And I've uh, had my fair share of both, really. So that's the answer to question one. I, I do like um, much more than that, but that it's what's your favourite thing about snakes. And so that would have to be um, top of my list, that there is such a variety in their behaviours. Question two is how many snakes do I own? I own two at the moment. I own two ball pythons. I own, I have one... Um, banana 100% het pied ball python and I also have a queen bee 100% het pied ball python and a queen bee is a mix of um, lesser pastel and spider and that makes the queen bee um, and it's het for pied 100% so that means that um, within its genetics it has uh, I'm piebald but it's not visual, you cannot see any of the pied. So unless you um, bred her and bred her out, you may get a variation of some of the ball python babies being pied, but you would need a visual male pied to for that to be possible. Um, the banana, I'm sorry, is not 100% het pied. It's 100% VPI xanthic or exanthic. Um, I really struggle to pronounce that one. It's um, AX and I'm not sure how you pronounce the start of that. So it's not pied, sorry. Um, I was getting confused there because um, I'm thinking about I do want to get a male pied. So I thought, oh, banana, um, he's male pied, but he, no, he's not. He's um, a banana and he is a 100% VPI um, Xanthic, or however you want to pronounce that. So the next question is, show me an X. So I will go ahead and insert a clip here of uh, my banana. So it's Pogo, my banana ball python, and it looks like he's shedding. I can see at the end there he's got some shed. I'm not so I'm not going to disturb him too much while he's in the middle of shedding. He's pretty mean as well. He's not He's not very nice to me. And he does strike at the drop of a hat. So I'll cover him back up. So yeah, that's Pogo. I have called my banana Pogo. Um, my girl is called Khaleesi. We were going to call them Khaleesi and Carl Drogo. So for anyone who watches Game of Thrones, you'll, you'll understand. However, my son did not like the name Drogo um, because the um, banana ball python is pretty mean which you'll see in this clip um, we've decided to call him Pogo because he kind of springs uh, so we thought that was a, a good name so we have Khaleesi and Pogo so the next question is name a youtuber that I want to see own a snake hmm I would really really like to see there's two people I would really enjoy seeing um, Tarantula Cat own a ball python. I don't know if she has any snakes. I'm not sure if she's got any ball pythons. But yeah, I'd like to see Tarantula Cat own a ball python. Um, I think she would really enjoy a snake if, if she got one. And uh, and it would probably become a new addiction. And also my buddy Winter Knight. He's got a huge variety of... Um, sort of true spiders he's in Australia but I also think he would have an awful lot of fun owning um, a snake the next question is recommend a seller for uh, ball pythons um, this is a hard one for me um, there is a one place that I've been before called ball pythons are us but I actually did not acquire these snakes from there I purchased these through a um, like a gum tree ad a, a solo sort of advertisement um, I don't have enough um, 
snakes or experience to know some of the top breeders and things like that. So unfortunately, I can't I can't give you um, a, a, a real recommendation. There is a um, a company called Ball Pythons R Us. I'm not sure how active they still are, but a few years back I did buy a ball python from them, and they were lovely. They were really good. So the next question is, if I could own any um, type of snake, um, what would it be? And I would say anaconda. I would absolutely love a yellow anaconda. Um, they get big, they're mean. It's not always mean, but they are usually pretty mean. Um, and I just think they're awesome. So for me, it would have to be the yellow anaconda. The next question is the biggest mistake I've ever made owning uh, snakes. Um, I would have to say a few years back, I... Um, had a snake and instead of getting the correct heating like a heat bulb which you do really really need especially when they're much larger a heat mat is is okay for like a temporary situation but you do need to have a thermostat um, which regulates the temperature they're cold-blooded animals and they and they do really need that at the time I didn't know anything about snakes this was a long time ago um, and my mistake was not providing enough heat source and the snake unfortunately developed um, an RI infection, so a respiratory um, infection within its lungs. So that causes bubbling in the mouth and some sort of whistling sounds. The snake survived and was absolutely fine. I got treatment. I noticed it very, very quickly. Sorry, I'm itching, guys, because I've been out in the sun and I've been bitten like numerous times. Look, you can see one right there. I've been bitten. It's really itchy. Um... Yeah, so that was the biggest mistake I ever made, and I haven't made that mistake since. My two ball pythons currently are on heat mats, but they are only small, and that is sufficient for the next couple of days until the bulbs and the thermostats come through. But as a permanent solution, um, you must have a heat bulb with a guard so that the snake cannot touch the heat bulb, and you must have a thermostat which can regulate the temperature of that enclosure. Um, you also need to make sure that on one side is a hot spot and on the other side it's cooler because the snake can then decide which side it would like it to is, be on. Are snakes suitable for beginners? The answer is yes and no. It depends solely on the snake that you purchase. I would not advise you to go out and get an anaconda or even a Burmese python, these and, or a reticulated python. These snakes get very, very large. Boa constrictor, I would say that's more of a, um, a second purchase. So for me, I personally would start with something like a corn snake, a rat snake, a king snake, um, even a sand boa or a hog nose. They are all um, relatively small. Um, they can get some good length to them, but they're usually incredibly docile. I would then maybe move up to ball python because they can max out at around six foot, sometimes seven with a push, but it's mainly around the six foot mark. I would then move on to your bigger constrictors. So um, you could then move up to um, a boa constrictor, a Burmese python, a reticulated python, and then maybe an anaconda, which is probably the most aggressive out of all of those that I've listed. Um, so you have to just be really sensible when you buy buy a snake because a bite from a big Burmese python I'm telling you is not very nice. I take that from experience. So my question to um, the exotics layer channel is um, I've actually got two one question doesn't really relate to the animals and one of the questions does so the first question is will you ever appear on screen on your channel and if not why not and the second question is, if there was any, is, is there any particular species or tarantula that you um, do not want to own? So, um, for what reason? Is there anything that you would class as just, is there anything that freaks you out really? So, um, that could be a true spider or, yeah, it would just be nice to know, are you actually afraid of anything? I saw the OBT climbing up your arm and... I was scared a little bit inside for you. So I'd just like to know if there's anything in particular that you would really not want to own. And it doesn't have to be tarantula, it can be it can be any creepy crawly. Is there anything that you do not want to own and why? And so the last question was asked, uh, is a question to me, and it was asked by um, Bluegrass Inverts. And he has asked me, um, would I ever consider owning anything um, larger than uh, a ball python? So some kind of constrictor, um, 
yeah so the answer is simple absolutely i will drop a little photo down in a minute i did and i have owned um in the past a uh he got to 10 foot a burmese python called henry and he was lovely i unfortunately due to some financial issues had to rehome him years and years and years ago um if you go right down my channel to the very bottom you will see a very brief uh, a couple of clips of when he was really really small and I also have a clip on there of a boa constrictor that I had again this was a long time ago and due to some financial issues back then um, I had to come out of the hobby before I could barely even start it I had Henry for a very long time um, but due to as I said due to finances I had to rehouse him um, I couldn't afford to keep him he was um, for the cost of the food and the housing, he was in a massive, massive tank and I didn't have the space and I, I felt really bad but there really wasn't anything that I could do and that was the best thing to do for the snake. Um, I'm now in a completely different situation now, um, I don't have to worry about stuff like that. So um, yeah, but the answer is absolutely, at some point when I've moved house I will definitely be owning, once again, um, I'm looking at a reticulated python or a Burmese python again. I also love boas. I just can't decide. Maybe I'll get all three. It just depends on space. I am going to be building my own sort of um, reptile slash invert room. Um, hopefully outside in my garden with an insulated big sort of shack thing when we move house. So again, it really just depends on the space that I'm given. Um, but yeah, I guess keep watching the channel and you'll see. So thanks for watching this video guys, I hope you really enjoyed it. I'm sorry that I look really tired and, and uh, not quite on it today. My, my baby girl kept me up all night and uh, I'm very sleepy and it's also very, very hot here in the UK right now. Um, but I will be doing some videos over the coming weeks. I've got like some nice feeding videos. I'm also gonna be doing a lot of rehousing uh, towards the end of the week. I've got uh, two new additions arriving tomorrow and um, I've got a huge amount of new enclosures coming um, which I'll I'll tell you guys all about when they arrive. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to that because I'm going to be changing all my tarantulas over to clear um, perspex or glass enclosures so that um, it's easier to see. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, feel free to subscribe if you are not and if you would like to give a donation to the channel please do so. BTS is coming up. If there's anything you would like to see me particularly own um, do let me know because that could be a possibility. Um, and thank you all for watching.